look, if you have this money coming from oil and gas, you can import and bring anything that you want. Fine, you import and bring anything you want, but you, you leave a joblessness for your people. And look at this, it's hitting us very hard now. So I think that uh, the reality of the moment, the, 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 because one year ago, we were looking at 100 and above dollars per you know, one uh, barrel of crude oil. Today is between 30, 40. We don't know what it will be tomorrow. But even if it stays at this, or even if there is improvement, it has now shown us that we can completely rely on oil and gas. You know, we should be generating re uh, revenue from oil and gas, generating from agriculture, generating from manufacturing, and so many others. So when you do all this, if you have problem with one area, you balance with the others. I think that is the way to go. You see, production has always been very sort of expensive in Nigeria, owing to uh, inadequate infrastructure like power and the rest of that. Isn't that going to bring some, you know, difficulty to product massive productions like what you're imagining? No, you see, the whole thing is tied, tied together. Uh, you know, we've built roads. Uh, a road is built, I can say, I, I, I'm sure everybody is a, a witness to that. Uh, you celebrate. Uh, but after some time, the road gets bad. You buy equipment, at times sophisticated equipment, state-of-the-art equipment. They come into the country, the capacity to uh, maintain them is not there. And something happens, you abandon it. Some equipment imported into the country have not even been used. Nobody even cared because maybe one problem or the other. Again, it's our attitude. Once we emphasize science and technology, then you will do production locally. Now, in the process of production, you build capacity. So if an equipment, if I know how to put equipment together, if there's a problem, I also know how to detect the problem and to maintain it, to service it, to repay it to modify it, to even build a brand new one, you know, better than the previous one. So that is the capacity that science and tech will bring to the nation. What timeline have you set for yourself to, to develop the sector? Hey, no, you know, uh, one thing with uh, research and development, yes, certain timelines and all that, it may work, it may not, because at times, even if you are doing research for those who do research, you find that in the process of looking for a solution, you may get another one, which may even be better. Uh, but we, we, our trust is to see how we can reduce imports into the country uh, through import substitution. Then we will also, in the process, uh, find a way to do our new products uh, because that's how we will be in a position to export. Because you want to produce something that other people don't have, uh, then they will come to you. Uh, and you, can, you make money. We want our nation to be far wealthier than we are today. We want to make sure that the resources we have in the country, that we add value to them. Uh, we want to make sure that when we grow our mango, we don't allow it to waste. Or our tomato, you know, they will rot. And they, we don't want all that. With the capacity is here. And we can do all these things. There are lots of things. But outside pencils, what else are we looking forward to? Oh, no, all forms of import substitution. Uh, we have, uh, in the Ministry of Science and Technology, we have uh, 17 agencies. And no two are the same. Each one has a unique mandate, looking into a specific area. So we, we are working, and all these areas are important uh, to the nation. So we want to find a way to make sure that uh, we, the, 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 the real aim is happiness of Nigerians you know, improving the standard of living and the quality of life. And that's our trust, and that's what we are working towards. If security matters, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the want to help, help uh, security in Nigeria, mm. is that going to infringe on certain ideas that you've got right now? No, 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 security is very important because you, if there is no security, nothing works, really. Uh, because, uh, I mean, this interview, if you hear a strange gunshot somewhere now, this interview will come to an end. So security is important. And it's okay. Why? I mean, if you just think about it, there was a time uh, Nigeria, Brazil, India, they were all virtually about the same level in terms of uh, uh, security items, you know, equipment, and, uh, and so on and so forth, ammunition and all that. 
But you know that all those other two countries, there is nothing they have not produced. They have produced aircrafts, they have produced uh, ships, they have produced armored vehicles and all that. But what have we done? So we, 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 science and technology must be uh, employed to help us to secure our nation. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Bunaya Onu, Minister of Science and Tech. Thank you for joining us on the Thank Abuja. you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you for your mails as always. And yes, thanks for your comments, Badru, Rafiu, and Ernest. We'll take your mails next week. Well, keep your views and comments coming using the address and Twitter handle on your screen. Don't forget, you can view the program on youtube.com forward slash channels web forward slash videos. Make your comments after viewing any of the videos. Always remember to include your name and location. Thank you for watching this week. I'm Gloria Umezuki. Bye-bye from Abuja.